Thank you for waiting. Jess, the next poet is Jazz Pill. And uh, she is a, a past co-host of the World Poetry Cafe. Unfortunately, um, after 19 years, we changed from 9, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Tuesday to Thursday from 1 to 2 p.m. So it's been a bit of a shock. We're in our second month now. We still have over 100 people waiting to get on the radio show, mostly publishers and publishers' assistants. But so many people have asked about you, Jazz, and your, your joy and your love and your caring, and, and we sure miss you at the radio. We really, really miss you. So I'll tell a little bit about Jazz. Uh, she's dear to my heart because she's also a dream poet, and my book of 47 dream poems is hopefully coming out next year. She was born in India, came to Canada at age five, started writing as a teenager. In 2011, her passion for the written word resurfaced. Since 2014, she's had publications in four anthologies, including Our Class Poets Anthology and Muse for World Peace. Her first book of, po will be, of poetry will be published in early 2016, titled True, True Grace. Please give a big hand to Jazz. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ariadne. Okay. This first poem is called Break Open the Sky. And I wrote this for someone that I met uh, very fleetingly, and she lost her 16-year-old um, son. And uh, closer to my heart this year, um, a dear friend of mine lost her brother in a very brutal way. So this is about... Um, when your world falls apart at um, the loss of a loved one. Break open the sky. Break open the sky. There are thunderstorms brewing. Torrential rains are pouring through my tumultuous soul. I'm ready no more. Do not speak to me of sorrow, for my spirit has gone into hiding. I am fighting to breathe. Catastrophic chaos has embedded itself in me. Is it my destiny? I see nor hear of sweetness as darkness creeps in. I must have sinned for punishment, for punishment has been given. A sentence must be served to grieve. I understand nothing of this roaring rage, outpouring on this very page. I am in disbelief, mirrored in me horror, sorrow, deep, deep sorrow. With this, how do I make peace, as it kills me? I am given a token, pain has now spoken. I am coming for you. I am speechless, my eyes vacant, unseeing, as the vision that I once adored has risen to the heavens, held in God's embrace, as the skies open, pouring tears of sorrow over me. How do I say goodbye when you didn't want to leave? I wrote this for those living in poverty with nothing. She rises. She rises with hope. Still, on this desolate day, the clouds gray, they threaten to wash away her hope. As the babes cry from hunger, desperate belly longing, empty eyes staring at her. She must her strength, never knowing from whence it comes. Not to be undone, for there is work to do. Sometimes the hours drag on, endless day, waiting, waiting, for more of nothing. Still she rises, walks holding her head high, in search of something, in nothing. Hope in dread, longing for the light. I will not drown. In the darkness she vows, eyes to heaven turned, soft-spoken words. She pleads with her maker, he who rules the world. Let us not be forgotten. Let us not be forsaken. Let us live this day. Let us awaken tomorrow, but with a sliver of hope. For that is all there is. 
all that ever was. She lays down to comfort the babes as night falls with a shower of stars, knowing that tomorrow she will rise yet again. I wrote this for Mother Earth. My grief bleeds. Heed the whisper of Mother Earth as she cheerfully pleads. Heal me, for my grief bleeds. It has bled into the poverty that is rampant in your sister country of Africa, India, so many others. My grief bleeds into the natural disasters, storms, tsunamis, snowfalls that destroy. They are roaring with the in anger. They are roaring with anger at the injustice in my home. My grief it bleeds into the tears that have polluted oceans, sacred waters meant for healing many moons ago. I know, I see. Inside, it slowly kills me. I have wished for peace. Many I have sent. Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Buddha, have you heard? Their, their lives devoted to heal Mother Earth. But you hinder the gradual sway of peace. It is kept at arm's length, for profit sharing is favored above humanity. Greed is painted on you. Grief bleeds into me. Many souls have become beggars as the rich hold tighter the almighty dollar. Abundant rivers flow shallow as we wallow in grief. Tears shed our crimson red. Te laughter rings hollow. Misery trapped in small forms, finding only a home under the sky with no soft surface to lie. Only the hard ground on which dreams die, but hope still survives, although fighting for survival. Grief bleeds into dark alleys, stark lives, shrouded in layers of dismal sighs. The stench of human suffering is intolerable. How is this possible? The world we live in full of such wealth, reduced to this, this carcass of beauty that no longer serves me. Vultures have eaten away all of man's dig dignity. I humbly plead, heal me, for my grief continues to bleed. They're all so heavy. <laughs> They're all so heavy. <laughs> I've got two really uh, um, lighter ones, so. This is called Never Ended Quest. Bring forth the light, for the darkness has set in. It is there in my heart, my spirit, my soul. Chase away the demons that live in nightmares, giving birth to fear, pain, and sorrow. Let dreams of peace comfort me. Wash away the stains of desolation that have creased my existence. Shower me with the rays of the sun to release me from the bondage of yesterday. As I lay here, I'm feeling motionless. Tickle me as I find my laughter. Take away the prison of my past that has sentenced me to life. This is my never-ending quest to live in the light, for this day is new. Okay, if we can read it in first. Okay, it's time. Okay, yeah, I think I went too far.